Hey my friends, welcome to another episode of In My Own Backyard. In this video, we'll explore things to do in Stratford, Ontario. It's a long time coming, but we're finally here. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the little bell to be notified of new videos. Please visit the accompanying blog post for more information and pictures, which you will find in the description. Welcome to Stratford, Ontario. Uh, this place is, I don't know, I know I keep saying this all the time, and every time we go to a new uh, little town, uh, the first things out of my mouth is, I think this is gonna be my favorite town, and I keep saying that every single time I go someplace. I don't think Stratford is a little town. It, it, it actually looks bigger than I thought, and there is so many things, boutiques, restaurants, um, breweries, chocolate places, I think Stratford is my new favorite town. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I absolutely, nice. I, I love, like, I love this place. Like, I, love I, I really do. Like, I love how City Hall is, like, in the middle. And then you have all these little streets with stores that are kind of going around it. And it's not just, like, in your typical Ontario town where it's just, you know, one main street and you have a bunch of stores. This has like several little main streets with tons of little stores that are all boutique That's stores. It's, it's not that small and, and nature is a stunning. Yeah, so we're gonna go explore a little bit. Right now we're in Shakespeare's garden. So um, let's go check this place out. Shakespeare's Garden is one of Ontario's best places for a romantic getaway. The garden is a lush oasis in the city's heart, offering outdoor activities like hiking and biking, trails along the Avon River. You can enjoy over 60 plants from trees and flowers and herbs. Many were explicitly planted here because they are mentioned in Shakespearean plays. If you're unsure what to do in Stratford in the summer, go to the World in a Weekend Festival. For one week in August, guests are treated to a theatrical showcase of music, puppets, and outdoor entertainment for the whole family. This local microbrewery and tap room serve many craft beers like Indiana Pale Ale, English Pale Ale, and Porter. This popcorn store serves gourmet hand popcorn of both savory and sweet varieties, while this colorful ice cream shop serves everything ice cream, including dietary sensitive and vegan options. Not only are their drinks great at the Specialty Cafe and Espresso Bar, the live events also make it worth visiting. Rio Thompson has been making candy since 1969, so you can trust they know what they're doing. Handmade creams, caramels, barks, and specialty chocolates, I mean, hard not to go wrong here. Treasures Gift Shop is one of those cool boutique spots with local and unique products. Birch and Wynn is a coffee shop and wine bar, probably one of the prettiest coffee shops we've ever had coffee in, not gonna lie. Heritage Hops has a great variety, including ales, lagers, IPAs, and sours. On select nights, they also have karaoke and live music. City Hall is set in a triangular town square that often holds community events and gatherings. The red brick faced clock tower was built in the 19th century in a Victorian style. The Revival House offers a modern French style menu served in an unusual setting as the restaurant venue was once a church. Lastly, Alley Cat Cafe is the only cat cafe in Stratford, but more than that, they aim to make tremendous strides in helping abuse cats and finding their forever home. That's it for this video. Head over to roadtripontario.ca for a detailed blog post on things to do in Stratford, Ontario. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.